Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to Crime Busters 101. I post solved and unsolved and crime-related topic on a weekly basis and also true crime and murder documentaries, so if that's something that might interest you, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Every case is unique and will have you on the edge of your seat, so enjoy the videos and remember viewer discretion is advised on all my videos and if you are commenting, please be kind. Thank you, stay safe. This is the best order to watch all the Halloween movies. Halloween is the perfect time to watch one of the scariest guys to ever wear a jumpsuit, Michael Myers. His reign of terror started decades ago and now spans a dozen Halloween films. But they don't all follow a neat order. The franchise has been rebooted a couple times, plus there's even a Rob Zombie remake of the original film. The latest reboot, which started in 2018, has a third installment coming out in October 2022 called Halloween Ends. Given that there are reboots and sequels and remakes, it can be hard to cobble together a chronological order for the Halloween movies. It's not impossible though, since most of them enter around Michael Myers stalking Laurie Strode. Halloween, 1978 the first Halloween film kicks off Halloween night, of course, in 1963. We see a six-year-old Michael Myers murder his older sister with a kitchen knife at 45 Lampkin Lane. Fifteen years pass and Myers breaks out from an institution where he's been held, and his psychiatrist, Samuel Loomis, Donald Pleasance, is forced to chase him. Myers returns to his old hometown of Haddonfield, Illinois to prey on some unsuspecting babysitters led by Jamie Lee Curtis Laurie Strode. John Carpenter directed this film and wrote it with Deborah Hill. Halloween 2, 1981 Picking up right at the end of the original film, we see Laurie transported to a hospital after supposedly defeating Michael Myers. But he gets up and walks away from a series of stabbings and gunshot wounds that would otherwise kill most people. Although Dr. Loomis initially thinks Michael has been indiscriminately targeting babysitters, he soon learns the killer is after Laurie for a specific reason. Rick Rosenthal directed this film, but John Carpenter returned to write and produce it with Deborah Hill. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, 1988 Yes, we skipped Halloween 3. More on that later. Halloween 4, directed by Dwight Little, picks up 10 years after the events of the first two films, with Michael Myers awakening from a coma and heading out to find and kill Laurie's daughter, Jamie Lloyd, Danielle Harris. For those wondering, Laurie died in an off-screen car accident before the events in Halloween 4. Also, John Carpenter didn't write or produce this film. He did Halloween 3, but doesn't come back to the franchise until 2018's Halloween. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, 1989 The end of Halloween foresaw Michael Myers shot repeatedly and thrown down a mineshaft. This fifth film sees his body wash up in a creek where a man who lives alone in the woods finds him. He spends a year taking care of Michael's comatose body before he awakes on Halloween night. Michael immediately kills the man and heads out to find Jamie, Danielle Harris, who was in therapy from her last run-in with him. Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, 1995 Set six years later, The Curse of Michael Myers opens with Jamie, now played by J.C. Brandy, as a prisoner of a cult that broke Michael free at the end of Halloween 5. She has been forced to carry a child and dies during an escape attempt. She manages to hide her infant, though, who is then found by Tommy Doyle, Paul Rudd, the young boy that Laurie Strode babysat in the first Halloween film. Halloween H20, 20 years later, 1998. H20 opens with Michael Myers vandalizing the home of his recently deceased former psychiatrist. He discovers that Laurie, Jamie Lee Curtis, faked her death and has been living as the principal of a private boarding school that her own son John, Josh Hartnett, attends. Michael Myers, naturally, arrives just in time for a Halloween family reunion. Halloween, Resurrection, 2002 Halloween, Resurrection, 2002 This installment sees two things 
pay her a visit. After that, he heads to his old abandoned home to find the contestants of a reality show who want to spend a night with him. Halloween, 2018. Halloween, 2018. The highest grossing film in the franchise is also the most recent. It's another reboot, but it serves as a direct sequel to the original Halloween, meaning it treats all the other movies as if they didn't happen. Since it was so successful, it's about to finish off its own trilogy with Halloween Ends release on October 14th. Jamie Lee Curtis once again returns as Laurie Strode. She is still traumatized from the Halloween night 40 years earlier when Michael Myers came home. She is living a reclusive life in a heavily fortified house. She keeps in touch with her granddaughter, Allison, Andy Matichek, but really sees her daughter, who was taken away from this Halloween film. Green also directed two sequels to this film, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Halloween Kills 2021. The latest installment in the Michael Myers saga looks to be one of the bloodiest entries yet, according to trailers for the new film. It picks up where 2018's Halloween left off, with Michael trapped in the basement of Laurie Strode's Jamie Lee Curtis, Burning House. subscribe and hit that notification button.